Hey everybody, welcome to Salty Hill Gamer, where we're on an airsoft journey and we're sharing everything we learn along the way. Today we're talking about, as a beginner, what are the first mods that I should add to my gun? Well, we've got a couple of really good suggestions that don't cost a whole lot and they're going to make you a lot more effective right away. So stay tuned. Hey everybody, welcome. So you've got your airsoft gun and now you want to know what mods can I add to it that's going to make it better? And which one should I get first? So if you've been looking around on YouTube on this subject, you've probably seen people suggesting things like upgrading your barrel, upgrading your motor, swapping out your spring, shimming your gears, changing your bucking, or swapping out your battery connectors. And these are all probably pretty good suggestions. But chances are, if you're new to Airsoft, you're not very comfortable cracking open the body of the gun and making these modifications yourself. And before you go to a store and pay a tech to do those things for you, there's a couple of simple things you can do that'll make you more effective straight out of the box. Let's head over to the unboxing table and see exactly what we're talking about. All right, so first and foremost, we're talking about adding an optic. In my opinion, there's no single first thing you can add that's going to immediately make you aim better and increase your effectiveness more than adding a decent optic. Now notice that when I said decent, I did not say expensive. Now some people may disagree, but if you're playing with just your iron sights, it's really not so much fun. And chances are you're walking your shots in as you shoot. A decent reflex or red dot sight will allow you to acquire a sight picture much faster and you can pick up either one for less than 30 bucks. This is the Fiaci reflex sight. It fits onto your Picatinny rail. It has four different reticule styles in both red and green dot and five different levels of brightness. It has unlimited eye relief. And what that means is that as long as you can see the reticule in the sight, that's where your BB's going. And there's a lot of forgiveness in where you can position yourself to see that red dot. So it makes you a lot quicker, a lot more accurate. Best of all, you can get this little guy for just $17. Now one thing I would also recommend if you go this route is getting a little shield like this one. It fits right in front of the optic on your Picatinny rail. And as you can see from this one, this one's cracked. And it will definitely save you from getting shot out an expensive optic. This gun's fitted with a brand new one because the one it had on it you'll see has now been made, made it to a uh, weapon of its own. Another good optic option is a red dot sight like this one. Now this is the UTG 3.8 inch ITA red and green dot sight and it comes with a quick release. It comes with flip up covers and as you can see this one's seen some hard use already and one flip up cover has been broken. But you can actually take these off if you don't want to use them. And as with the other optic we showed you, it does have both green and red and variable levels of brightness. It also has a wide field of view and eye relief. So again, as long as you can see the dot, that's where your shot's gonna go. Now you will need to dial these in for them to be effective just like you would any scope. And for all these, you're gonna have up down adjustments and left right adjustments. This one you can turn with a flathead screwdriver or a dime. And the optic we looked at earlier uses an Allen key, up and down, left and right. This UTG scope will cost you about 30 bucks. Either one of these is gonna have an immediate positive impact on your aim and gameplay. I absolutely think it's the first thing you should consider and the biggest bang for your buck. Another quick and easy mod to add to your gun to help immediately improve your gameplay is a grip. You wanna make it as comfortable and as easy as possible for you to manipulate your gun and aim your gun. Now you might like a good angled grip or something like this simple vertical grip. This came from Airsoft GI for about $19. It slides right on your Picatinny rail and tightens through the bottom of the handle. These type of grips are really great for shorter guns and cornering action in CQB. Now I'm not a super huge fan of the traditional long vertical grip and the reason why is because when you're covering this with your full fist, you can lose a little bit of stability and as you're shooting, the gun can wobble a little bit left or right and cause you to miss. And just personally, I prefer more of a thumb over bore grip style. And when you're using that type of grip with a long vertical grip, you're really only utilizing the very top third of the grip. It doesn't make a lot of sense to have that long vertical grip. Personally, I prefer something like this short stubby grip. And I actually like to mount it angled forwards, AK style, because it lends itself well to that thumb over bore grip. You can really get a good handle on it and really pull the gun into your shoulder for maximum stability and maximum aim. Now, if you're just starting out in airsoft and you find your arms getting a little bit tired in longer events, either style of these is going to be a godsend to rest your arms during the middle of play. So there you go. We'll link to everything we've discussed today in the description below. But there's countless variations of grips and optics that you can add to your gun that won't break the bank. We'd like to hear what you think about these mods, or if you have suggestions on other starter mods that would help new players, then definitely share those in the comments below. And if this conversation was helpful, remember to leave us a like and be sure to join us on our airsoft journey by hitting that subscribe button and we'll see you next time.